I'm sure you're seeing yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so hi beautiful people. You welcome back to my channel. Here is Nelly. Yeah, guys, welcome back to grandma's channel. So, guys, today we are going to make water fufu together with Nelly. I'm going to show her how to make water fufu. So many people don't know how to make fufu, they only know how to eat. So today you are going to learn how to make water fufu. I'm so excited. <laughs> so how do you feel now that you are going to learn how to make fufu? I feel, in fact, I feel blessed. I feel so excited because mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful thing to learn how to prepare fufu from From grandma. the start, yes, yes, from grandma and also from the start. Yeah. Water fufu is very simple to prepare. Yeah. I also have a video on how to prepare the, the fufu from the start. That is from the fresh cassava. Now, in this video, you are going to see how I make the fufu. That is dissolving it in a water, in a cold water, put it on the fire, and then turn it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make now. All right. Yeah. So All let's right. go. <laughs> this is the fufu. This is fufu. This is cassava. Mm? This paste is gotten from fresh cassava. Okay. Yes. And I have a video on how to make the fresh cassava to be like this yes okay. to be able to get this so this is what you need for you to prepare your fresh water fufu now this is also a pot you also need a pot a very clean pot and the size of the pot that would contain the, the quantity the quantity of the fufu that you need All right. you also need water you equally need water so here i have water now the first thing i'm going to do is to take the cassava or fufu put it in a pot remember any quantity that you want is what you are going to make so for my family you know we are many so i'm going to make the quantity that will be able to you know take us for the day at least today and tomorrow so i'm not going to make a whole of this so i'm going to keep this cover it and set it aside this is the one that i'm going to make i have to add water you have to mash it very well so that there will be no lumps for you to have your lump free fufu you have to match the fufu very well or the cassava you have to dissolve it very very well so that there will be no lumps remember if there are lumps you will not enjoy the food yeah yeah so you don't have to create lumps in it by not dissolving it well this fufu we call it sister siso i hope you know why hey this is sister siso apple hey okay yes i know why yes because now. once you eat it it will last for yes. a very long time yes it will last from if you eat it by six o'clock today it will last till six o'clock tomorrow ah. the same time <laughs> That is why it is called six to six. So I'm done. I'm just going to rinse my hand into it. Fufu is very easy to make. So I'm going to put this on the fire and then start turning. Okay. Yes. You have to turn it gently and gently until it is well cooked. Okay. You know the pot is not yet hot, yes. so you have to allow it bit by bit until the pot is hot, then you keep turning. So you just allow it for like three seconds or five seconds and then you go back and turn it. Okay. that this pot is a non-stick that is why mm. i like this pot eh? it does not stick something yeah and it does not get burnt before it starts getting burnt is if the black stuff mm. scrapes off yes then it will it will burn or this one eh? mm. it does not burn i like the pot see the fufu is coming off yes Spring 
into some water. So that it can cook right into the fufu itself. Mm -hmm. The fufu is okay. Wow. So I'm going to put it down. This is the fufu. It's now ready. Look at the pot. The pot is as if I did not use it to make fufu. Exactly. <laughs> mm. See the fufu here. The fufu is ready. This fufu that I made alone by myself, eh, it can stay for one week without putting it in the fridge and it will not spoil because it has cooked very well. So I have to allow it to cool down a little so that I can use my hand to really mix it well. So I'm going to leave it for at least three minutes for it to cool down. So if the food has cooled down, I have to make it well by sprinkling some water. You can see the fufu coming out. It's still hot too. Oh my god. Very beautiful. Ah! <laughs> hey! You see? Uba wana mengi nama. Uba wana mengi nama. Do you know what I'm saying? If the hand did it, the eye will like it. If the hand does it, the eye will like it. So my fufu is ready. Uh, you see it? Very beautiful. Yes. So I'm going to cut it. Small, small size. This is one person's mouth. Have you? Fufu is ready. Ooh. Okay. Ba. Hmm. <laughs> We have finished making the water fufu. This uh -huh. is six to six. So apple, you call this apple in your apple, place, yes, Abby. <laughs> in my place, we call it fufu. So this fufu is very very easy to swallow. Yes, yes. Mm. Hey, this fufu we go with okra soup. Chai. Alabono <laughs> soup. So guys, I'm sure you have seen how we prepare this fufu. It's very easy and fast to make. I yeah. tell you, it's very easy. So if you have fufu, don't fail to prepare it. And if you see it, don't let it go. Just swallow it with any type of soup. It can go with any type of soup. So guys, today's post notification shout out goes to For you to earn a shout out, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notification when you subscribe so that you'll be notified whenever grandma uploads a new, new video. video also guys please check out my new videos on yes. Nelly's world please subscribe to my channel please subscribe to Nelly's world also turn on the bell so that whenever she uploads a new video you will not miss out thanks for watching this video see you in our next video bye